Well, good morning. It is Thursday, January 20th, 2011, and you're here for another edition of Take 5. We're still in Matthew chapter 4, today looking at the third of the temptations of Jesus. We're in verse... Eight. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. So the devil takes him up to a high mountain and he shows him everything out there and he says, look, you can have it all. You can have it all. You can be king of the world. Not Leonardo DiCaprio. The devil tells Jesus, you can be king of the world. Just worship me. Now this is interesting because Jesus already was king of the world. Now Jesus wasn't exercising his role as king at this point and he hasn't exercised his role as king for a while he, he, he's a humble man one day he will he's gonna be the king of everything uh, in, in practice now he really is king and he does have a kingdom it's an invisible kingdom and we can talk about that later but he would be he will be the actual physical king of the world and everything at some point but at this particular point right now the devil really is the king as much as anybody so when he says bow down and worship me and I will give you all of this well he may not have been lying he may have believed he could give it all to Jesus uh, he wanted Jesus to worship him the, the problem is you don't worship the devil you don't worship anything or anybody other than God and Jesus pointed that out in the scripture again all three of these temptations, Jesus responded with the Word of God. And so I would encourage you to know the Word of God. But the, this primary temptation here is to worship something other than God. Because you believe you will get a greater reward from that thing than you do God. It goes to your faith. If you really trust God and you believe God's going to give you everything, then you don't worship something else. But if you're not so sure God's going to take care of you, then you might worship your job. You might think you need to make all that extra money because you don't really trust God's going to take care of you. You might worship a relationship because you don't believe your own relationship with God is enough, so you have to have this other relationship. You're not willing to cut off a relationship that's harmful because you're so afraid to be alone because you don't believe God's going to take care of you. See, it goes to lack of faith. The, the problem is you've got to trust God and worship Him alone. Are you struggling with worshiping something else? Maybe it's money. Uh, maybe you're consumed with all your possessions. Uh, maybe it's uh, a, an athlete. You're just, it's just, you know, worship is is just too much attention, too much focus on something other than God. Now it's okay to be a fan. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of the Bears, obviously, and I'm a fan of Elvis Presley, and I'm a fan of of uh, different things. Uh, but I don't worship any of those things. Uh, if the Bears lose this week, I'll be fine. It's you know, it's, I'm not gonna and I'll be down in the dumps because I worship God and God's always going to be there. Uh, so, Bears aren't going to lose this week though. We're going to beat the Packers. Anyway, come back tomorrow. We'll be uh, getting into Jesus' ministry. Hopefully those uh, last few days have helped you in your personal walk when you're tempted with things. Follow the road map Jesus prescribed. When the devil tempts you, you respond with the Word of God. When he tempts you with uh, taking care of your own physical needs uh, when uh, you shouldn't be, you know, when that, that's to an extreme, uh, when it, he tempts you with testing uh, the Lord, or when he tempts you with worshiping something other than him. So when he tempts you with any of those things, and those are pretty broad, you respond by saying, it is written, and know your word. Anyway, come back tomorrow for another edition of Take 5.